Why are Muslims so angry that people insulting Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam? Don't they respect freedom of speech? If we look throughout the history of the Prophets, we will find that all of them underwent the trials of abuse and persecution by their people. For example, if we look at the life of Moses, peace be upon him, he was ridiculed and persecuted by Pharaoh and his people to the point that they even chased him to the Red Sea for his life, but Allah saved him in the end. If we look at the life of Jesus, peace be upon him, for example, he too was afflicted with hatred and abuse and persecution by the people of his time to the point that they even tried to crucify him, but we know that Allah the Almighty saved him as well. And likewise, if we look at our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he too, like the other Prophets, underwent physical and verbal abuse the people of his time tried all sorts of horrible means to try and humiliate him. But in the end, Allah saved him from this ridicule too. Respecting the prophets is part of Islam. As Muslims, we honor, love and respect the prophets. Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, the believers believe in Allah, the angels, the books and the prophets, and they make no distinction between them. At the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there was a Jew and a Muslim who were quarreling over the superiority of their respective prophets, the Jew turned around to the Muslim and said, Allah the Almighty has granted Moses superiority over all the people, to which the Muslim hit him and said, no, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been granted superiority from Allah over all the people. The Jew went to the Prophet Muhammad and complained to him about this particular incident and what had happened. The Prophet, peace be upon him, turned around and said to them all, do not make me a superior over Moses. And in another narration, he said, do not make me a superior over any of the other prophets. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon them all. Can you say something insulting about a Holocaust victim and not lose your job? Or what if a white person were to go to a predominantly black neighborhood and just start calling everybody inward? Do you think something bad would happen to them? Would you feel sorry for them? Of course not. Now much of the violence that's happened because of the movie about the Prophet Muhammad is clearly wrong and is forbidden in Islam. But when you insult the Prophet Muhammad, realize that for Muslims, this is someone we revere more than our mother, father, uh, our nation, or any tribe. Some things are considered sacred. Others have a high level of respect. So how much of a higher status do the Prophets deserve? Insulting them should never be considered freedom of speech and should never be tolerated. I converted to Islam in 1998, and before that I heard many of the slanderous remarks made about the Prophet Muhammad. He only taught Islam because he wanted money, women, and power. But when I really began to investigate his life, I saw that the pagans of Mecca offered him any and as many women as he wanted. They said that they would give him tribute, making him the richest man in Arabia. They also said that they would pledge allegiance to him if he stopped teaching that God was one. But through all this, he never relented and he never stopped preaching about his mission. Muslims love their Prophet Muhammad more than they love their fathers, mothers, and families. Of course, it goes without saying that our mothers and fathers are amongst the most dearest people in our lives. So how would we feel if someone was to make a video of our mother insulting her, ridiculing her, uh, dishonoring her, we would indeed be outraged and we would never accept this as a form of freedom of speech. So now reflect upon this, how would we feel if someone was to make an insulting video about the one who is most beloved to us, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Muslims make over one and a half billion people worldwide. We all love and respect the Prophet Muhammad. So even if someone doesn't think that Muhammad is a prophet, out of decency and respect, they should never insult him or any other prophet or allow anyone else to insult him or any other prophet. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an amazing individual who was widely respected by Muslims and non-Muslims alike for his trustworthiness, his honesty, his decency and his integrity of character. His call was a very simple one, to worship Allah in his oneness and not to associate any partners unto him.